promised you a story. And I'm going to give you my story. For years and years, I have told bar students, do not try to be your own coach. Don't try to save a few dollars and do it yourself. Put together your self-study cocktail, we called it, because it just blows up. It, bad things happen. And you would think after sharing this advice for over 30 years that I would be smart enough to follow my own advice in other areas of my life. As many of you, I went on vacation over New Year's, went to South America, took a cruise, and I decided for reasons that are inexplicable that I would be my own travel agent. I would do my own booking and with the help of a big box travel booking company, I would take care of all of the travel arrangements. Great. Thinking that I knew something about it, although I've traveled almost not at all in my life. Got to Buenos Aires, ready to return home after vacation. And I had our travel documents and I saw the airline and the airport and all sounded good and got on the tour bus to go visit Buenos Aires. And then the tour bus was going to drop us off at the airport. No problem. I've got this worked out. Arrived at the airport, stood in line for about an hour because it was Buenos Aires and a little crazy and got to the front of the line and said, here's our documents. And the ticket agent said, oh, there's a problem. And I said, what's the problem? They said, well, you're at the wrong airport and you're at the wrong airline with about three hours to spare. I thought, okay, I can do this. Raced outside, grabbed a taxi, went all the way across Buenos Aires to the local airport and got in line again, only to find out I was in the wrong line. Still not the right airline after an hour's wait. Moved to another line, wrong airline, but I didn't wait an hour this time, but got to the front of the line still wrong. Finally found the right airline, the right ticket counter. Now, I don't know how many of you have spent time in South America, but they don't have quite the same view of lines that we do in the United States. It was basically a free-for-all to get to the front. And after elbowing our way to the front, we finally got our tickets. Great. I still have about an hour to go. I try to figure out where the gate is, and I go to what I think is the right gate. Now, they're not speaking English and I don't speak Spanish, I'm embarrassed to say. But suddenly everyone stands up at the gate and starts running and they can't figure out what's going on. And finally, I find somebody that looks like he's an American and I say, what's happening? He says, I think they changed our gate. So we're all running to another gate and we get to the other gate and I breathlessly hand them my ticket and they say, get on the bus. What bus? Well, they're gonna take us on a bus out to the plane somewhere out in the airport. But it is lightning and thundering and raining, and we are boarding in a pouring rainstorm with no canopy, no umbrella, no nothing. And we get herded into the back of the plane. I'm thinking, okay, this is not bad. We're at least on the plane. Then the pilot starts speaking in Spanish with no translation. And it turns out that the weather's so bad that they're giving us a ground hold. And the pilot apparently says, we'll be here an hour, maybe two hours. I don't know. And we sit on the plane for two hours waiting to take off. Now I had given myself, because I was going to be a travel agent, three hours to make the connection. And we made it by about a half an hour. I could continue with the saga of all the bad things that happened, but the bottom line was it took us over 40 hours to get from Buenos Aires back to Denver. Moral of the story was, I am a dummy for trying to do my own travel arrangements. I tell you all the time, don't try to save a few dollars and be your own bar review coach. Listen, don't try to be your own travel agent and save yourself a few dollars. It was horrible. It was a terrible experience. I told you you should have taken me on the trip. You never would have had any of this happen if you had a personal coach on the trip. That was it. So there you go. So anyway, I just want to point out that there are life lessons to be learned here. This was one of mine, and it's a truism that you should really let experts be expert and let them show you what they can do. When it comes to your bar study, We've made the trip. We know what to do. We know where the problems are. We'll get you in the right line. We'll get you on the right aircraft. We'll get you to the right airport. Use our expertise. Let us help you. Those of you that insist on doing it on your own are taking a huge risk. And for the investments you've made in your legal careers, it just doesn't make any sense. Our course is still the most affordable full-service bar review in the country. There's no reason for you to not be using 
the resources that we provide. And I really want you to succeed and pass. We all do, but you make it exponentially harder when you try to do it all yourself. So P.S. Don't ever hire me as your travel agent. So that's our story. I have no more travel plans, so I'm pretty sure I'll still be here. <laughs>